Okay, question number, uh, actually we're going to do questions two and three together for this test three review. Both of these questions involve a rational function. Let me go ahead and bring you down to my paper so that you understand what I mean by a rational function and how we find the domain of one, okay? Now, first of all, the reason this is called a rational function, 7 minus x is a polynomial, x plus 6 is a polynomial, and when you take the ratios of two, or the ratio of two polynomials and you make a function out of it, that's called a rational function. Now, the one problem with a rational function, and it's something that you need to pay attention to, you should remember from arithmetic that the denominator of a fraction can never be zero. Division by zero is not allowed. So in this particular problem, when it asks me to find the domain of this rational function, what it's asking me is what am I allowed to put in for x? Whenever you're trying to find the domain of a rational function, what you're really doing is you're looking for trouble, okay? You're going to find out what the trouble is, and you're going to throw out the trouble, and the domain is going to be the set of real numbers that works, not the ones that cause us trouble. And the way you find trouble is you take the denominator, which in this case is x plus 6, and you find out what makes it become 0. Well, if x plus 6 equals 0, that means that x is negative 6. Now, what that means to me is in this function, negative 6 is trouble. If I plug negative 6 into the denominator, it would make the denominator become 0. I'm not even looking at the numerator. The numerator can become anything it wants to. But the rational function, the trouble, is when the denominator becomes 0. So negative 6 is not a number that you want to use. You don't want to feed that to this function. So basically, the domain here, and again, in English, what domain means is, what can I put into this function? The domain would be the set, OK? Or basically, I could say all reals, all real numbers, except for negative 6. Now, another way to write that is to say the set of all x's such that x is not equal to negative 6. But in this particular problem, we were asked to give the domain using interval notation. This is called set builder notation. If I want to give the domain an interval notation, what I like to teach my students, draw a number line first, OK? And notice what number I'm throwing off this line, negative 6. The number negative 6 gets booted out. You toss it out on its ear because it's not allowed. All of these numbers are part of my domain, and all of these numbers are part of my domain. This direction is negative infinity. This direction is positive infinity. And if I want to write this answer in, inter in interval notation, I have two pieces. This piece will be written paren negative infinity, comma negative 6. We hop over the negative 6. The next piece will go from negative 6 to positive infinity. And the reason I'm using parens instead of brackets on the negative 6, negative 6 is not included. And in interval notation, a bracket would mean include it. Well, a paren means to exclude it. And one last detail, whenever you have two sets that don't touch and you're expressing them in interval notation, you put the union symbol in the middle, which basically means this piece or this piece. So this would be my answer to this problem, the domain written in interval notation. Now, my next question, question number three, is a very similar question. Notice that I have a rational function. x plus 2 is a polynomial. 10 minus 2x is a polynomial. The ratio of two polynomials as a function is called rational. If I want to find the domain of a rational function, what I do is I look for trouble. In other words, to 
find the domain, we find our trouble first. And the domain is the set of all real numbers except for the trouble. To locate trouble, I determine when my denominator is equal to zero. Because any time the denominator of a fraction becomes zero, you are in trouble. Well, if I were to solve this equation, 10 minus 2x equals zero. The opposite of 2x is equal to a negative 10. Divide by negative 2, so x is equal to 5. Now remember what 5 is. 5 is trouble. And it makes sense because if you put 5 into the denominator of the original problem, this would become 10 minus 10, which would be 0. So what it means is our domain here is the set, and we're going to write it in set builder notation. Our domain is the set of all x's such that x cannot equal 5. And if I said that to you in words, in, in a different wording, my domain would be the set of all real numbers not equal to 5. Every real number except for 5. 